Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Today we're going to be filling up our greenhouses that we have purchased and lined up in a neat little row down over there. Uh, before I do that though, the weekly question. I'm going to be doing some forestry very soon because you've all said you'd like me to. I have this timber runner right here. This is the bog standard game one. Um, if you want me to, I've got another one available, which has an auto-load script. It's identical to this, it's just had Mahu's auto-load script added to it, so that we can load the logs automatically after we get fed up with uh, chucking around with that bad boy over there and a log fork. So, it's your vote, it's your game. Head down below into the comments section, let me know if you want me to use the auto-load script, or if you want me to use the standard game one. Now then, I'm going to move this one over a bit. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is get some manure. I'm not entirely certain if we're actually going to be able to um, use this manure. Uh, we've not tried to do anything with it yet. All that's all I know so far is that it doesn't show up properly on the game. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. I just need to turn round first. And it's such a tight fit in this yard, it's not the easiest thing, finding somewhere to turn. So. Let's turn here, and I will do this from in car because we've got the lower trailer, so I can actually see what I'm doing. A um, little bit tight to that wall, so let's just go back a bit so I can swing out round. There we go. Out round like that, and then I can swing right round that corner and come up here. Now, if I skip out, if we run and get the JCB a second, I, that bucket might actually be in the way. No, I think it'll be alright. I did originally bring that bucket over because I was going to use the uh, load all to do it instead of this JCB. But now that we've got the JCB with the bigger bucket on it, I think it's only logical that we use this one. Now, when I was at the silage pit yesterday, uh, I did everything from inside the cab. So I'm going to do some of this from outside the cab so that we can look at and appreciate the sheer beauty that is this JCB. Uh, which one is this? This is the JCB 435, isn't it? 435S. The, um, I'm pretty certain that they were the, uh, the farm masters. I think that's what they were called. The JCB farm master. Uh, if it wasn't farm master, it was something very similar anyway. Right, let me just lift that up out the way a minute. Uh, hmm. Right, before we do anything else, let's just see if we can actually... Because when I I walk onto it, it actually does do something, doesn't it? It, it did... Let me think. I'm, I'm pretty certain that when I walked on it... Yeah, I'm up over the top, so I am on top of it. Whereas the loader just then drove into it and didn't actually do anything. So let's see if manure is actually working properly in this section. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it is it is in there. It's just a little bit back. And we are picking something up. So, that's okay. Let me skip out a second. I will run over here and we can move this one up. So, I'm going to take a full trailer full down and I'm going to tip it out right where our... Um, you know what? I think that uh, bucket is going to be in the way. Hmm. No. I think it'll be alright. I can move this one up and then back him down I want to sort of put it you, you put it at an angle like that the better the angle you get there we go that will make it nice and easy for me to load up so let's skip around here and in we get now I will do this all I think from this side will give us the best view because uh, there's the tra the tree will be in the way otherwise there we go let's come over this way I need to lift up a little bit there. Oh, it does look beautiful, doesn't it? That does look like an absolute beauty of a machine. I don't know. I can't remember how big this trailer is. So I can't, I can't remember exactly how much we're going to be able to fit into it. So let's lower down there. There we go. I'm actually using a joystick to do this rather than the mouse keys. And the control it gives you is absolutely brilliant. I should put it in a slightly different position on my desk, I think, so I don't have to lean over so far. Um, it is, for those of you who I, I was asked before, I think I've already said, it's an Attack 3 joystick. I actually got it on eBay. Um, got it second-hand on eBay. It cost me, I 
think, £15. Something like that. It was very cheap, anyway. Um, I know that some people don't get to use some of these things because they are a bit are a bit expensive, but I did not buy it new. I bought a second-hand one, a Logitech Attack 3. It works absolutely perfectly. I've not had any issues with it, any complaints, any problems, nothing at all. Um, and, yeah, it was about 15 quid, I think. That was including all the postage as well. So there is... That's actually quite a good angle there. It does make the bucket look a bit bigger than normal, but I like to sort of see things from different angles sometimes. It just makes the whole thing a little bit more interesting. It's like things that you never really noticed before when you watch them like this. Let's come around this. Turn it a little bit. There we go. I'll do the next trailer fall from in the cab. We can do another one, I think. Right, there's three... 6,400 each, by my reckoning, that makes 19,200 in there so far. Uh, I think it's 20-something that we can take. I can't remember exactly how much. Right. Next bucket fall. I've got a feeling this might be the last bucket fall. So 19,200. This one would make 25... Oh, yeah, now it's full. Right. So if I bring that one down here, we will be driving this one down to the greenhouses a bit later on, but not quite yet. Let's put him in there, he can stay there and full. Switch him off a second, because we might be a little while, I don't know how long it's going to take. And if I leap in here, right, 21,700 to fill that one up. I'll do this from in the cab. And we'll drive down there for the first time, and then subsequent times... Because I'm going to tip all of that um, manure that we got up there. I'll carry it all down and put it in the pile down there. Right. I'm going to go quick and get in front of that car there so he doesn't hold us up too long. And I could go in this field down here. I go in the gate down here. But I don't have a strip up the side. I was thinking about doing that. Then I thought, well, no, we don't need to because we'll use this. So I'm going to go over this way. And there's all our greenhouses looking pretty swish. And, oh, they're all up on platforms, actually. But I've never actually used greenhouses in this game. I used... I did in 2013. I set up a whole load of greenhouses on... I don't know if you remember, not the Westbridge Hills map, the other one. Um, I can't remember what it was called now. It's been such a long time ago. But I had... Uh, you, you remember where you had the cattle, and you had that little tiny field right in front of them. I did what quite a lot of people did, I think. And I grassed it out. Oops. Okay, let's just... Alright, this is really bad. This is really bad and slightly embarrassing. Um, no, nope, I want to go the other way. Let me turn that way. And then that way so I can come out. Okay. That was really, really embarrassing. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, so yeah, um, that little tiny field that was in front of where the cattle were... Um, quite a few people did what I did, which was grass it out. There we go, that's better. And after grassing it out, uh, I stuck greenhouses down there. And then I could just use the loader, I think it was the lizard loader actually, and carry manure from the heap straight over to uh, the greenhouses and tip into the, the different baskets. So I've not actually looked at these greenhouses. So let's just take a look at these first. Let me just skip out of here. There we go. Right, so we've got a great big bin here. I'll bring up the um, overlay a second, and it might tell us if we've got anything in here. There's nothing there. Right, we've got... Oh, water and manure fill level. You get it from... Just see it from here. But you've obviously you've got to tip the manure into that bit. Can you go in? Oh, nice. So you can go into the greenhouses. You can have a look round. I don't think you can actually do anything in here. Um, but you certainly have a look round. There is a hook and a trowel. And we've got anything else in here? We've got ooh, it's fans and everything. Oh, it's a very fancy greenhouse. Uh, pipes across the top. It looks like it's got an irrigation sprinkling system, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, that's uh, the tomato ones. So let's run down here and take a quick look at the... Is it lettuce or cabbage? Lettuce, I think. It wouldn't be... I'm sure it wouldn't be cabbage. So let's take a look at this one. We'll go up the steps the proper way this time. And come over here. Right, these are pretty much the same. Those are both on 0% at the moment, so obviously it's not going to be making us any money. And this is a lot more basic. It's a much more basic uh, greenhouse by the look of it. 
It doesn't even have sliding doors. So the tomato ones, they're, they're, they seem to be where the money is, or at least when it comes to putting them up, but they do cost the same. So let's have this trailer. We'll tip this one out here. I don't know how much, obviously, goes into those containers at the moment. So we will find out. I don't need to worry about closing the cover on the trailer because, um, yeah, it's just manure. It doesn't really matter. And we're about to dump it in a big pile outside. So let me back up here. There we go. There's the tip point. I tip that there. Let's have a look at the texture. I've not seen the texture for it. It actually looks pretty good. It's more, more like manure than I thought it would be. There's a lot of straw in that, but then it's lying around outside. It tends to sort of wash the um, manure a little bit anyway, and so you you tend to get quite a lot of almost clean straw on the outside of the heap. Um, uh, yeah, that's, you know, it probably would have been easier if I had just come straight down this way, but then again, I can go back this way and just look, like go in a loop so I don't have to actually turn around anywhere. I'm going to get back up to the farm, then we can get loading on the second load. Just pulling in, and if I angle the trailer back like I did last time, we can then start loading. And this time I'm going to try and do it all from in the cab. Right, it should be okay. It's a little bit further back than it was last time, but it should be okay. I'm over there. Run round. Right. It is a shame that we can't actually see the level of the manure pile while we're over here. So let's get in cab to do this one. load up there we go and like I said before it would be so much better if we could see what was going on here um, like you would be able to turn your head and look round now I don't know if that actually went into the trailer or not I'm assuming that it did I'm hoping that it did because again you can tip stuff out onto the ground and just lose it forever which is something that I don't like about this game. I mean, it is good that you can just tip stuff out of the bucket wherever you happen to be. I just don't like that you lose the stuff. Um, and I don't know if it would have the capability in 2017 to stop it from doing that. Um, you know, just like leave it in a heap wherever you might be. That would be pretty spectacular. If they could do that, that you could, wherever you happen to tip it, it just, you could pick it up from. But I suspect that that is at least another edition away maybe two or three editions away because I think that would take quite a lot of computing power as well as um, well I don't know what the programming would be I'm not a programmer I've never claimed to be a programmer um, not a programmer or a modder or anything else I can play the games probably fairly badly admittedly but I can still play the games but that's that's about my limit right we're now I think we have yes one more half bucket it goes in to fill the trailer up to the top and then we can go and tip this load and we'll come back I'll get one more load and then we'll take that one down and we'll use the follow me and stick this one on behind to chase it down so let me just tip that in there there we go last little bit perfect Right, how much, hang on, before we do this, let's just see how much we got left now. Manure is 31,800, so I've got another trailer full. So I'll do that, I'll just fill this one up a second. Right, there's the bucket full. And I'll leave it there. Right, I'm going to drive down to the field and tip this load out. Just coming up to the heat. Spin around a little bit and I'll tip this one out. And then I'm going to go back and refill the trailer. And as soon as it's filled, I will bring it back down here so that I can tip it. And I'll get the, I'll put the JCB on follow as well. But, um, I'll probably show you that a little bit just so that we can see it driving along. But I've also got to go and get the water bowser from, I think the water bowser actually at the moment is up at the beef and pigs. So I've got to go and get that one bring it back down here and um, load it up so that we can put a bit of water into the greenhouses as well because we don't get any money from them until they've got both manure and water loaded up in them. So I've got to get that and I've got to allow time for it. Right. That is that trailer full. Load it all up and just press that one there. Right. That's now following. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, 
give the ahead distance a little bit further because I think that was just a teensy bit drastic and I'm going to leap into the tractor from the other side of the wall because I'm magic like that right is it going to follow or is it going to try and drive into that wall I'm going to drive over here a second and see what it's doing it might be that this isn't going to work very well okay let's climb out go and see what it's doing oh no here it is uh, right seems to be stuck it does do that sometimes to follow me it, it kind of gets caught up um, trying to turn the corner and then doesn't do it properly and it sort of weaves back and forth and it doesn't actually ever quite get to where you want it to go so I got a feeling that articulated machines are going to do this more than regular machines so it might be that we just swap who's in the lead yeah <laughs> it doesn't like that at all does it right uh, <laughs> let's just stop that a second I'll stop him like that and now I know that there is a way to do it from the one in front uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that so I won't for a minute let's just turn that beacon on we're all good I'm going to go just out onto the road there like that and now if I climb out of there and I run back over and I get the JCB and then I can go in front of the tractor with the JCB and then we can make the tractor follow the JCB probably the best way to do it let's just turn my beacons on and I'm gonna have to make sure there's no traffic yep that's okay right now if I come in front of you swing around like that and stop I don't know what button it is to get the one behind me to start following so I'm not gonna do anything clever I will have to look that up if I do it like this why are you going over there oh it's because I right let me get moving before that car comes along and stops the tractor from being able to go any further I gotta sort of keep it into the bank a little bit it should be okay yeah there he is he's moved back onto it now he's he literally follows the precise path that you traveled so if I can get in here far enough and fast enough he should follow me there he goes right now that we got this working I will drive this in round to the field and then we can see about getting the water swinging right tight into the hedge here and I'm hoping I can squeeze just through the gateway there there we go and is that I mean come out of cab a second is that going to be enough for that tractor to get around that corner is it oh he's just kissed that gate oh that's a bit of a nuisance right I'm going to drive this one in here a second and then I'll rescue that tractor because I've got to tip it out before I can go and get... Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll leave the tractor there. He can do what he likes for a second. And we will see if we can tip into here. I'm going to do this sideways on so that I can see what the bucket's doing. Because if I remember correctly, it used to be really easy to get this wrong. So let's just see what that's doing. Can I see on here? Extend rent time. Oh, look. Follow me behind stop wait resume ah right shift right so there's some in that one that's full anyway right I'm not going to worry about the follow me bit for a second let's move on to the next one fill this one up as well and tip that in there right so I have there's 3000 in each bin isn't it yeah so as I've got a bigger bucket here, I can do two greenhouses per bucketful, which is perfect. Let me go and get another bucketful. We'll fill this bucket. I'll do two more greenhouses now, a second, and then I will do the other two off camera. Just scoop that up. There we go. Perfect. I'll do the other two off camera. Let me do these two from in cab as well and then I will also tip that trailer out I will take the trailer back to the yard and leave it there and then I will go up to the beef and pigs and I will collect the water bowser and bring that back down here so I've got lots to do very little time to do it in very conscious of the fact that I have just run out of time 
and I still haven't even got the water down here. I did want to, because this is my last episode this week, I did want to try and at least get a couple of greenhouses up and running before next episode. I'll finish, I'll finish them off. I mean, I was only putting water into them, so I can finish those off in the next episode. That's not going to be an issue. Right, let me just tip that bit out in there. Yep, perfect. Just getting it lined up just right, that's the key. Seems to be anyway. Right, I... Oh, uh, at last, he's here. He's made it. <laughs> he's probably pulled my gatehouse down. Uh, gatehouse? Gatepost. Yeah, he's probably ripped the gatepost down, and now he's just driven into the wall. I'm not really sure what he's doing there, to be honest. Um, but that's okay, because this one can wait right here. So I'll switch this one off, and I will go and get that tractor. And I will deal with this, and then get the water. Well, I'm filling from the water point, and it does cost money. Not quite sure how much that cost me. I'll just drive away from it a little bit. Uh, it's not going to say. I think that was a couple thousand. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I was looking at these. We got some beef and pigs ready to take to market, and watering out. We will need to do a little bit of a top up, but not quite yet. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, oh, the John Deere up there. I need to get up there and help him. I'll do that between now and the next episode. We will finish off that little bit up there. The sowing that we were doing last time. And what was I going to look for? Oh, yes, here. Uh, uh, milk, wool, seeds, fertilizer, da, 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 da. no water. It doesn't tell you how much water is. Oh, well. Right. I need to turn around and I will get over to the field and we can start unloading the water. Right. I'll come out of cab for this. And we'll pull up alongside here. I want to press that one. I want to press that one. Right. Come up to here. There we go. Right. Manure level is full, so R to fill that one up. And how much does it take? Well, it doesn't take 3,000, the same as the other one. This is... Oh, it's 2,000, is it? Right. So I can do three greenhouses with this one. So that is now full. Ah, right, it's just changed a little bit. We got 80 for that, and it's used 2%. So when it's full, every... Is that going to be every hour? No, I don't imagine that the ticks are every hour. Uh, no, I don't want that one. Let's go to finances. What does it... Wage payment, property, maintenance. It doesn't actually tell... That's the one thing I don't like about this. It doesn't break it down so that you can see exactly where you get your money in that from. It would be nice if it did. Now, this one over here... Uh, oh, that has changed as well. So it's used some manure, but did it... I don't know how much money it gave us. That's the one issue. I mean, we got tomatoes growing in there. I think that's just because I've put water in there. Let's just watch the next one, the last one here. And in between episodes, I will fill up the last two greenhouses. Actually, let's go up to... Because we've seen the tomatoes up there. Let's just see if this one pops these up the lettuces. So that one's used up as well a little bit. Um, let me swing around. There we go. Right. Ah, as soon as it gets water in, it fills them up. So there's all the lettuces. Next episode, I will have these greenhouses. They'll all be filled up. I'll have probably completely forgotten about them by then, so they'll be full, but uh, I won't remember anything about it. Um, yeah. Uh, not quite sure, actually, because we do need to do silage soon. We got a little bit of silage in reserve, which I'm sort of keeping hold of, but it is something that uh, we're going to need to do. Um, we just bring up the map. I've got... We've got three grass fields here. 41, 8 and 43. Plus 1 and 2. We've also bought 18 over there. And we've got number 9 down there. And then finally we've got 45 up there. Oh, and not forget the big one up there 48 so we got loads of grass i would like to do a whole load of grass we've got combining that we need to do field 15 has still we still haven't done that one which we need to and now field 5 and field 22 they're ready for cutting as well um so yeah i think probably we'll do grass before we do forestry so we'll get going with mowers and that. I might do that next week. I'm not quite sure yet, though. I'm not going to guarantee anything when I might end up deciding to do forestry. But the question for this week is I have... Let me show you the modded one just so you can see it. I know I've showed it to you already. It's exactly the same. It's the Flegel Timber Runner right there. But this one also has the auto load script with it. There is no other change to it. It has an auto load script made by Mahu, which means that we can auto load some of the logs when we get tired of using the log fork. 
So if you'd like me to use it, or if you wouldn't like me to use it, head down below, let me know in the comments section. It's your vote, it's your game. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. But again, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.